Hey everyone and welcome back to yet again another Five Nights at Freddy's unboxing video. Yes I know, like 50% of my channel in the past month or two has just been FNAF unboxing videos, but I've been buying a lot for sure. I should be inching quite close to the end for now, I've got a few more things on the way, including a massive Jumbo Plus review which I recorded on Monday, but I haven't got around to uploading that yet because I'm busy this week with school and tests and whatnot. So yeah, that should be uploaded tomorrow. This one should be uploaded today. It's currently Friday. It should be uploaded today. It's Friday the 8th of October. Speaking of which, it was also Sister Location's five year anniversary yesterday. I was hoping to get a video out for that, but I was really busy because I was like studying because I had a test today. So now that it's a Friday and the weekend is setting upon us, I can get back into the swing of things. So this just came today and it is for the rest of the Curse of Dread reaction figures. I've been eagerly waiting for these. For a while now, in the previous unboxing, I took a look at the Jack Bonnie action figure. I'm a huge fan of this figure, love the packaging, love the figure itself, the sculpt is awesome. And I've been really excited to get the other ones. And most importantly, Glitchtra. Alright, so I got this box here containing each of them. I got two of each one. Now, I have got a couple more sets on the way. Because I ordered them over a month ago from Australia and I was expecting them to come out. I didn't expect them to come out this early in the UK. I was honestly thinking they'd come out months after the US. So I thought if I ordered it from Australia, I'll get them, you know, early. But then they came out in the UK and the Australian one still hasn't came yet. And they've been out in the UK for over a week now. So I just went and got a couple of more sets so I could um, get them as early as possible. So I'm definitely not going to need to keep four sets. So, but for now, these ones will do until... Oh, and by the way, with that Australian order contains the Walmart exclusive Captain Foxy action figure. Might get it tomorrow. That'll be awesome if I do, because then I'll have Captain Foxy, who's the exclusive. And it's the only one I have not got yet. So I've got two Grim Foxies in here, two Dread Bears, and two Glitch Drops. And I'm really, really excited to check this out. Alright. And then we'll also showcase Jack Bonnie a little bit more, so we can show what the entire retail set looks like. Alright, so I if you looked at my Instagram, the other day I did unexpectedly find these in a store near me. I actually did find these. And I've been going there constantly like the past couple of days. I've been trying to find the brand new Jumbo Spring Colorway plushies because they just came out of absolute nowhere. And um, go check out my Instagram, I post more info about those. They just came out of nowhere um, like last week. Someone listed them on eBay and they're only out in one UK store at the moment, and that's that store where I found the Dread Bear figures. So here they are, look at them. All right, so let's take them out. So here we've got a, a Grim Foxy, awesome. Here we've got a Glitch Trap, it's my favorite one. That's sick. Here we've got Dread Bear. The other Dread Bear. The other Glitch Trap. And the other Grim Foxy. Alright, so let's review these brand new action figures, shall we? Starting off with my personal least favourite, Grim Foxy. Now, don't get me wrong, I certainly love this action figure, but when you've got an entire wave of just awesome action figures, one of them have got to be last, and for me, it would be Grim Foxy. So, of course, I love the box design. I've already brought this up a lot in the Jack Bonnie figure review, so I'm not going to go through it all again, but in, in, in short, I absolutely love this box. I love how Funko's been doing the boxes recently, you know, with a chocolate wave and now the Dripper wave. They, they have been exceptionally well done boxes. The, the box designs are great. And here's the back in case you haven't seen it. Now, of course, I'm not going to open this figure from its box because I'm an in-box collector. But I will be able to review it from outside of the box, from what it looks like. I've obviously got it and I see what's like in person. So I can still review it and compare it to what Grim Foxy looks like in the Crystal Dreadbear DLC. So, just as I said in the Jack Bonnie review, if you're looking for a review to see like how the posability is and how well and strong the joints are, go and watch a different Dreadbear figure review, please. Alright, so let's start off by taking a look at the head. So the head looks really, really good indeed. It's actually almost perfect. Now, the colour is a little bit light. They went for the whole translucent thing as well with Grim Fox. They also did this with Jack Wabani. Personally, I do think it looks quite good, but I know some people are quite against it as well. Now, and the endo ear is something I really wish they did. It actually did add bits of, like, you know, the colour of the rest of his suit onto the ear. Because Grim Fox in the game, he does have that. It's not just fully silver. It's kind of, like, rusting, you know? You can not see. You can still see some of it. Some of the colour, but it's all, like, rusting away. 
the rest of the face I ever looks perfect. It literally captures Grim Foxy perfectly. Like the you know whole expression on his face. It, the face just looks so much like Grim Foxy. And then you move over to the body. Sadly, they didn't do the like yellow inside the stomach. That would have been awesome to have. They didn't do it with Jack Robani either. It would have been great to have. And of course, they're using a couple of more translucent parts for the chest piece in here. He also has no pants, which is strange. I wish he did, but he doesn't. He's even got these black spikes on the shoulder though. That's an awesome detail. They even remember to include that, which is great. And then the arm and legs as well so it's very similar to the nightmare foxy figure of course and it looks super duper cool indeed i actually really love this figure a lot all right so up next is my second favorite action figure from the wave that being dread bear himself and oh my god funko seriously outdid themselves with this figure this figure is actually brilliant this figure is beautiful this is a wonder to behold this is a seriously great figure literally the only fault i can really pick up here is the color being a bit too bright but other than that it looks awesome and even with the kind of bright color it still looks like a wonderful action figure it looks beautiful the sculpt is spot on they even included some super duper minor details that loads of people won't notice such as the slanted bow tie and the stitching on the hat like, they really paid attention to detail here, and this was clearly their main focus of the wave, and it is such a beautiful figure. It is honestly wonderful. Look at how accurate it looks. The details are all there. It's such a wonderful sculpt and such a well-crafted figure. Accompanied with a beautiful box design as well that really fits the Halloween theme, and oh my god, I love this figure so much. I, I can't believe that, like, the Funko FNAF merch is, like, so cheap, you know? It's like a tenner. A tenner! And look how good this looks. I would definitely pay like three, four times the price for this. Yeah, overall, I love this figure a lot. The sculpt is beautiful. It's brilliant. Look, you've got even just tiny little holes on the arm there. They put in so much weathering and detailing on here. And it just looks like such a high quality figure for sure. Oh, and if I wasn't an inbox collector, I would like be posing him like, you know, the zombie arms, you know, like he does in the Dreadbear Easter egg. Or and just in Dreadbear in general, even in Night 3 as well. You know, that iconic Dreadbear stomping, you know, with the arms out like the zombie, you know, pose. I would, I'd do him like that, it'd be awesome. So, of course, just like the last couple of waves, there's also no Build-A-Figure in here, so... It would have been awesome to have, like, a Build-A-Figure, but I can't really think of who it could be. It could be, like, Nightmare Fredbear or something, like, someone from the original FNAF 4. That, because it still fits Halloween, right? The FNAF 4 characters do fit the Halloween theme. Or they could have done Nightmare Mangle, because you know how they like to make the, uh, the Build-A-Figures the complex characters. Oh, and also, must I mention that none of the figures come with accessories either, which I don't mind because the figures are beautiful and they make for such wonderful figures and I, I'm going to be displaying them on my wall with the rest of my action figures. Now, last but not least, is truly an amazing figure, alright? This is the Glitch Trap action figure. This is seriously such a wonderful figure. This is one of my favorite Funko FNAF action figures of all time. Out of like the 50 they've made, this is one of my favorites. This looks so good. And also, top it off with the fact that Glitchtrap is one of my favorite characters in the FNAF franchise. Of course, I can never rank my favorites of FNAF characters because I love so many of them. I love every single one of them. But Glitchtrap is definitely up there. Of course, just like Dreadbear, the colour is a little bit light when compared to Glitchtrap in the game, but it does look wonderful nevertheless. The face literally captures Glitchtrap really, really well. He has the whiskers, all the stitching, and he's even got these, like, dirt marks on him as well, which just makes it look a lot more realistic and just high quality. Look, if you look around, you can see these kind of, like, brown smudge marks and all on it. It just looks so nice looking, like, seriously. And of course, accompanied by that beautiful box design that I can't get over how nice it looks. Seriously, this Funko Finance Price Cursor Dreadbear action figure line is one of my favorite waves of Funko FNAF action figures. And the Dreadbear like, line of figures and plushies is one of my favorite Funko FNAF lines ever. It's seriously such an amazing wave and it was awesome tracking down all these Dreadbear action figures. Of course, I will be getting... Um, Captain Foxy very soon, so that's very exciting. I'm really, really excited for that. So, of course, what I've heard some people saying, I also agree, is that they gave Glitchtrap animatronic joints, despite the fact that it's William Afton and it's not an animatronic, it's like, you know, AI and whatnot, so... I don't know why they did that, but they did, and they also forgot, like, the star... Well, they actually do have the stars on the jacket, but it's just really hard to see from a distance. You'll have to get up close to kind of see it, you know? But yeah, in conclusion, I love this figure very much. One of my favorite Funko FNAF action figures to date, and it just looks beautiful. It's so, so good. And it literally looks almost straight out of the game. It looks like literally they just 
took Gledstrap right out of the game and placed him in real life and then shrunk him a lot and, and trapped him in a box as well. But yeah, it does look really, really good indeed. He even has the tail back there, which is awesome. It, it just, it's such a detailed wave, okay? Definitely try and get these. Um, they're all starting to hit stores and whatnot. You get them on Funko's website. You can get them at GameStop now. You can get them on eBay as well. Amazon as well. Like, they're, they're out, you know? They're out now. Alright, so there you have it, the entire non-exclusive Funko Financial Fries Curse of Dreadbear action figure line. In conclusion, this is one of my favourite waves. It's seriously, seriously good, and I would definitely recommend getting it. And I can't wait to get the Captain Foxy figure and complete this amazing line of action figures. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.